Hey there, YouTubian CJ Holmes here. Well, here we are on the next part of our Titanic Rec Model Diorama tutorial. And what we're going to be doing tonight is uh, we're going to be installing and properly bending the officer's quarters walls. We're going to install the um, boat deck stairway walls and also some of the bridge wing details. We're also going to be installing, let's see if you can see this here. Now this is what we're gonna be installing. I fabricated a telemotor out of some bits of plastic that I pulled from one of the parts. We're gonna be using this can at a later date so that's there for a reason okay we're talking about the telemotor what I did in order to fabricate it the telemotor consists of a pillar this is what the ship's wheel was attached to that wooden wheel is I think it's gone I don't know if it's still around but it's not attached to the telemotor the telemotor is made out of bronze and other metals and it's very well preserved but anyway there's a, a round I believe it's a large reduction gear and uh, the area where the ship's wheel actually went and there's the pillar holding everything up and also this little side bit of uh, equipment so we'll refer to the picture again show you what we're talking about Okay, that's what I've made, and I'm going to install on the uh, ship's deck. There's also um, telegraph that I'll do at a later date. A lot of the detail work, like the uh, davits, this uh, number two and number one uh, davit, they're going to be installed later. They're delicate, and I want to save those for last and also uh, the uh, foremast and the remains of the crow's nest will be added at a later time. So anyway, let's get to work here. Okay, I fabricated the telemotor out of one of these parts right there. What I did was I just sliced through this... Um, I think this is a Davit winch motor. Just slice it through to get just this little section there and added a little piece of plastic for a uh, pillar and another tiny piece of plastic for some of the uh, other hardware. And that's going to glue right smack dab in the middle of the wheelhouse. Take a bit of glue and find a tweezer and hope it doesn't go flying because I actually worked kind of hard on it and it went flying. And But it didn't go very far so I think what I'm going to try to do instead of using tweezers I'll try to hold it by hand Put a bit of glue in it and get it in position. Maybe a tad out of scale. It looks a bit large, but I'm going to live with it. Get it squared up. Okay, cool. That looks good. Hopefully, as I continue assembling the bow section, that isn't going to fall off. Awesome. Okay, now. The officer's quarters walls. What we're looking to achieve... <coughs> is this effect. 
Okay, this is the forward section, forward of the expansion joint. The officer's quarters walls are blown out at the uh, forward end. So they're upright, they're upright, and then one, two, three, four windows in, they're collapsed down. I'm thinking that this collapsing of these walls is because of a downrush of water as the bow section settled on the seabed. Could have been also from the foremast just scraping back and forth, or from the funnels falling forward, or from the uh, funnel support cables uh, snapping and twisting around. I don't know, but I think the uh, the current theory is that it was a down blast of the water. So on the ports or on the starboard side, one, two, three, four windows are going to be basically flopped on their side. One, two, three windows on the port side. So I have my walls. This is the starboard side. And on the model, uh, it actually goes farther aft and it angles in. Well, we're going to remove that angled portion. And I'm just going to see if I can cut it off with a knife. Okay, good. It's also far too thick right now, so I'm going to sand it down and make it thin and pliable. So let's start sanding. nice and thin. If you see uh, some paint, some sloppy paint and such, uh, if you may recall, I'm uh, building this up from an existing built-up model that I found at a thrift store. Um, whoever uh, worked on it really put a lot of effort in, but it was just a pretty much amateur sloppy job, so... Thanks for the effort. You get an A for effort, but uh, I don't feel bad about cannibalizing the parts to make a wreck. Right, sand it down some more. Live as it happens, I just don't have time for editing work. I have a full-time job and a family and other interests, so until uh, such time uh, that I'm ready to retire, anyway, make so much money doing this full time that uh, I can devote more time to it. I'm not uh, doing a lot of video work, just using my cell phone camera and uh, pressing the record button. All right, that's very thin now, you can see how. Much thinner that is, I think. I think you can see that. So what I need to do, one, two, three, four windows. I'm just literally going to. And if it breaks, okay, I can live with that. But I'm just trying to bend it so that it lays flat against the deck at the forward end. See what we're doing there? I could apply some heat, dip it in hot water, or use my uh, hot air gun, but I think I have it thin enough. And if I hold it in place, Get a very good effect there. Okay, that's going to go up against there. And notice how that just flops over. That really looks good. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue that in place. And 
butt that wall up against the expansion joint. Try to keep the walls vertical at the uh, aft end of the deck. Cool. Now let's work on the port side. Okay, we're going to eliminate that forward wall. Adios wall and thin it down. coming along nicely. Okay, let's see how thin that is. I need to do a little bit more there. Okay, so this forward section of the wall is really thin. And we'll go one, two, three, just like between the third and fourth window, and just start bending it. Slow, steady pressure. The um, heat from my hand will help the bending process. Broke a little bit there and I really don't mind. Looks cool. It's kind of breaking there. Let's see how that looks. Those fractures look really nice. I like that. Now let's take a look and see what we have. Looks good. Time to glue. Again, we're flush with the expansion joint. Now when it comes time to install the uh, roof here, I'll do a lot of modification to this part. The uh, wheelhouse roof is gone for the most part. This is all collapsed here and um, this vent is all but gone. Only the uh, side walls remain and uh, there's lots of gaps here. But we'll work on that on our next video. So right now we're looking pretty good with the walls. Let me uh, take these little bits and pieces off. So that I can show you what this looks like from above. All right, cool. So now you see the walls are flared out. The telemotor's in place. Uh, how much time are we using? 
15 minutes so far. That's not too bad. <clears throat> okay, cool. What's next? I don't think I need my illustration at this time. What I do want to get, let me find my parts here. Where's my parts box? What I'm looking for. looking for some davits and I don't have any clean ones right now but I'll show you why I'm looking for some if I don't find them today I'll find them another time cool all right what we're going to be adding eventually is a pair of davits that have been uh, blown off the the uh, actual deck and have come to rest here where the foremast lies against the boat deck there's also a pair of davits that are laying there but right now what we're going to work on are these stairway walls and uh, they're collapsed a bit, but let's get them installed first. Get some glue. And start gluing walls. Okay, there's a wall there. Just uh, scrap plastic that I have, very thin plastic. And I've cut them to size to fit inside the openings. The models um, sculpting of this, the, the walls are just too far apart. So what I've done is I've taken those walls, cut those out, and I'm installing the new walls on the inside of the uh, opening, make it a bit narrower. And this is collapsed in somewhat. What I need to do is do it like this. I'm going to bend it. because I want the forward end pretty much straight up and down to uh, accept the forward wall. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But we're going to apply some glue here. I don't like this pair of tweezers something a little bit stronger. Can't see that right now, but I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm fighting with glue that doesn't want to stick right now. Good. Let's do a couple more walls on the starboard side. Make sure they fit. Yes. I think I need some more glue. I think I've had this uh, silly paper plate for over a year. 
using it to uh, mix paint and and uh, glue and uh, it's been a faithful paper plate okay that wall is in and this wall is going in Managed to stick to the tweezers and not to the plastic. Crazy glue, gotta love it. I know I do. It's mostly my fault. I'm just being very sloppy in applying the glue. Keep dropping things. This isn't going to work. I just have too much glue on that part. And too much glue on my tweezers. So Let's clean things up a bit. And start all over with this part. More glue. side of the wall. Awesome. Now I need to cut the forward end of the walls. So I'm measuring Measuring where I need to make the cut. Okay, I've got a little piece here. Got me a little piece here. It's going to go in there. Drop it in the glue. Probably not the smartest thing to do. Make sure it sticks to your finger. Very important that you get the crazy glue to stick to your finger because, uh, anyway. Shall we press on? So we've got that down level with the side walls. And I'm going to take some more glue. And I'm going to apply some to that seam. And 
and to this seam. So excellent. Let's take a look at that. I'll show you in the photographs how this wall is bent in. And we're going to do another wall on this side and be done with these guys. Okay, I'm just eyeballing things. How do we do with that? Okay, I think I'll be okay if I cut this right at this level here. Yep. Let's try that. I'm going to apply some glue to the walls here first. Let me get this out of the way. Get this out of the way and get this out of the way. Awesome. It's too high, so I'm going to cut it with what? With some nippers here. Let's see if I can cut that. Okay, good. I think that'll work pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more glue. Just let some glue run down there. Just like in Bob Ross paintings, in model making, there are no mistakes. They're just happy accidents. Okay, there you go with the uh, stairway walls from the boat deck down to a deck. <clears throat> now, what do we have left? I want to install these two walls and then we'll be done for the night. Let me show you what we want to do. Go to the book. I'm referring to uh, Ken Marshall's Art of Titanic. Got to get this book. It is really good. All right, cool. So again, here's what we're going to be uh, installing. Uh, this wall and this wall. These are the aft portions of the bridge wings. All right, so 
that wall is in place, that wall is in place, and on the starboard side, the uh, aft section of the cab, that window, that's uh, smashed down toward the deck. So I have that. That's going to be installing there. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just bend this piece back. If it snaps, fine. If not, fine as well. Just applying pressure to it. backwards a little more. Started to get some fracturing. That is cool. Uh, this <clears throat> portion of the cab is a little weak. So just for safety's sake, I'm going to glue it a bit and sprinkle some baking soda. And it's now strong. I want to bend that back some more. That's going to look good right there. I like it. Glue it. Okay, let's do the port side. Now the port side, how does that go? I think that's flopped forward. Yes. Let me find the picture here. I think this may be a good illustration here. Okay, this is the section of the cab that we're going to be working with here. That's flopped forward. So what we're going to do is take this and bend the cab end forward. Really stretching that and stressing it. Awesome. Good. That came out real good. Simple as that. That's what we've got. Glue it. Starboard side, I think I want to come 
outboard just a little bit. So I'm going to re-glue that. This part got all weird when I touch something. Let's re-glue you. Put you back. Okay, great. I think we're going to leave it at that. We're, I think we're getting well over uh, oh, 36 minutes. That's way too long. Anyway, there we go. So, uh, what have we done? We've installed uh, the telemotor. We've installed the uh, bridge wings. Also, these walls here and the officer's quarters walls have been formed and uh, installed. Next video, we'll work on the roof of the officers quarters and uh, finish up on uh, the boat deck section here. So that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.